my name is Afzullah Masoudi and from now on I will be uploading uh, software engineering and coding or programming tutorials in this channel and I would be really happy to have you in my courses so I encourage you to take part and learn about coding and programming and if you have any kinds of comments or suggestions please feel free to contact me and one thing more guys that uh, this is my own channel which you can also check out and see my other uh, tutorials and also other courses and if you see the content useful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any updates from this channel also so guys let's start our tutorial so guys one thing more i want to share with you is that uh, because some of you may be new to this tutorial so if you don't know the basics of laravel you can check out my previous tutorials for example as you can see in the screen this four videos which is the first playlist is the CRUD functionalities in laravel which means create read update and delete functionalities in laravel and this other playlist has two videos in which i show or you can learn laravel basics and this one which is the third playlist which has 12 videos this one is a complete project in laravel 7 which is a photo gallery and the last one which has 10 videos and uh, it uh, its content is uh, on how to create multiple authentication in laravel 7 using laratrust package from which i mean how to manage multiple users and assign roles to them and permissions to them for the benefit of the project so if you don't know the basics so i encourage you to take these courses and then come to this course or if you have uh, any knowledge of laravel so it's okay you can join this course and uh, don't worry it's not that too advanced uh, it is only intermediate and if you don't have knowledge of these four so it's also okay you can join this course and learn a lot from it so let's start our course so guys first things first so we need a fresh laravel project in our system let's go to laravel or search for let's go to laravel.com or search for laravel in google click on this first link and now let's go to this documentation and guys we will be working on laravel 7 well i have upcoming courses in laravel 8 so don't worry i will uh, make some tutorials in laravel 8 also but for now we will use laravel 7 so click on it and one thing more guys that you can find everything or about laravel in the documentation of it you just have to uh, change the version in here as you want and then you can see all the documentation for that specific version so we are already in installation page so let's scroll down you can see here it has server requirements so we need php 7.2.5 well mine is 7.4 so let's scroll down and this line of code is for composer requiring laravel install installer as globally but we are not doing this one and guys when you do this command you can run this command in your cmd but if you don't want these two steps you can just copy this one i already have composer in my system so again guys if you don't know anything about the beginning of laravel or the beginner part of laravel so i encourage you to uh, go to my previous courses and find uh, the needed software's installation and instruction in, in those videos so let's copy this command and open a new terminal 
or command prompt window let me zoom it a little bit now the first thing I want to tell you guys if because my WAMP server is uh, installed in C drive so we need to go to C drive we are two folders ahead in C drive so to go two folders back we have to say cd dot dot slash dot dot slash now we are in C or root of C drive so now let's go to our my WAMP folder so cd WAMP 64 and press enter now I want to go to www folder to put my project in there and use it in local host so let's say cd www and now we want to paste the command and we also want to change the name of our project to laravel view and let's press enter so it will take some time guys you have to wait for it to finish so guys our project has been successfully installed now the next part is to install a framework for our styles which is bootstrap framework and uh, we will also install vue.js and besides vue.js we will also install axios well you uh, you should already know that vue.js is a javascript framework uh, which we will use in our interface and also we will use it for sending our ajax requests to the database so let's in install these three ones and don't worry about them guys well, i will sh show you or explain them uh, in the way going through our tutorial so don't worry or don't confuse so let's minimize our command prompt and let's scroll to the app well we don't need anything more from here so now for to install bootstrap vue.js and axios let's click on this front end and front end scaffolding and in here if we scroll down you can see this is the command line that we need to use uh, to install laravel user interface and after that we we will have access to this UI uh, command or property in our command prompt to install for example bootstrap install vue.js install react well these are all the same it will install these three but besides installing these three it will also install a ready-made authentication system which is a login and registration system for the users so in this video we will not work on authentication we will just install bootstrap and vue.js because in this tutorial i will show you how to uh, do crap functionalities which from which i mean create read update and delete with vue.js plus laravel so guys let's copy this line of command and get back to our terminal or command prompt and first we, now we have to go to inside our project folder so for that we can say cd laravel view and now we want to install the laravel ui package so press enter it will also take some time guys you have to wait for it to finish so guys our package has been successfully installed now let's minimize and copy this line of command and go to our terminal and paste it and press enter now let's get back to the documentation again and copy the vue.js code and paste it again and press enter now it says in run npm install well i will not use npm i will use yarn instead because it is much faster than npm so yarn press enter and it will install all the packages for us it will take some time guys you have to wait for it to finish well guys if you haven't installed node.js or yarn or composer you can't run these commands to run these commands you have to install a composer besides that node.js or instead of node.js yarn package manager then you can use these commands
So if you want to learn about them, please search on YouTube how to install Node.js or how to install Composer or how to install Yarn, and you will find uh, many videos on these subjects. So guys, everything has been installed successfully, and if you are getting the success message, so that's good. Now let's access our project in the browser. So let's minimize this and open a new tab well for my local server i am using vamp you can use zamp instead also or you want to use vamp uh, that's also okay so my web server is already running now i have access to localhost localhost slash laravel view and these are all the files that we have in our new fresh laravel project so now we can go to this public and that's the boilerplate or the welcome page of our newly created fresh laravel project. Now the final thing that I want to show you guys in this video is to how to remove this public uh, from the URL because we want to access our project just by writing localhost and laravel view and it should redirect us to this laravel welcome blade so for that we have to open our code and text editor so let's go back to our command prompt well uh, for text editor I am using visual studio code you can search for it in the Google and download it download the latest version so to open this project in VS code we have to write code space dot and press enter it will open your project in the Visual Studio Code text editor. Now to remove the public from the URL. This is the public folder. You have to copy this dot ht access and paste it in your root directory of the project. And you have to also copy this index.php. So copy it and paste it also in your root directory of the project. And the only change that you want to do is in this index blade because now we are uh, one folder ahead so we have to remo remove these two dots from these two links because it will throw an error well guys let's check it uh, with the dots so I will bring back the dots and now if we go back well let's uh, try to access our project with this URL so if I press enter you can see it is throwing errors so for to remove these errors you have to remove these dots so let's remove them and now if you go back refresh you can see now we have access to our welcome blade without any public in the URL so guys that was the last, last thing for this video and I think this is enough for the first video and you have learned how to install laravel project and besides that you have learned how to install bootstrap and vue.js in your new fresh laravel project so in our next video we will start working on the create functionality using vue.js in laravel so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video